Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to texture your clothing in Substance Painter, and I'm going to be covering everything when it comes to texturing, adding a height map, adding a normal map, as well as some cool tricks along the way. As always, if you're interested in only certain parts of the video, there's going to be times in the description where that you can skip to. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So first we need is the FBX of our clothing. You go in your Unity, we're going to select it right here, and then extend its armature until you find its body. On the right side, you go click Mesh, hit Hoodie, right click here, show an Explorer, and then you're going to copy that and paste it on Desktop. And then from Desktop, you're going to drag it into Substance Painter. From here, you're going to make sure it's selected on the right side here. Type in this Fill Bucket then right click and paint. Before you start painting, I would suggest you to select this tool here. Uh, this is going to mirror everything what you do on the left side, it's gonna mirror it on the opposite side. In this little search bar here, you wanna type in basic and you're basically focusing on these three brushes here. The basic hard is the one that I usually use and that I could recommend, to be honest, it's the most nicest and the sharpest one to use. If you don't want to hand draw some shapes, that you can just type in shape here and basically you can just use these and then change the color and now as you can see we have the shape that we wanted that pretty much it covers the basic stuff now let's get over to the next thing so if you would want your shirt to have a height map or a normal map this is where you basically uh, you have a texture over your normal texture where it appears like it's made out of actual fabric so what you can do is you can type in material here and you're looking for fabric. So these materials right here and you basically want to select whichever one you like and then you can press around. Don't hold down like you're drawing, but do just like just mouse ones and you have to play around with it until you get it perfect. If you want, if you don't want it this color, then you can pretty much change its color right here to whatever you want. However, if you do this fabric effect, then I would suggest to make another project or export your textures beforehand. That way, uh, when you use the fabric, you when you export it, you're only gonna get, you're only doing it for the height map. You're not doing it for the actual textures. If you would like to have a certain writing on your shirt, so let's say you want your name or something, uh, what I can suggest is to grab a different color and then just uh, click on wherever, whatever area you want your name to be. So if you want this to be like right here, then just put a little circle there. And then with the exported textures, drag it into any 2D editing pro software. So let's say a Photoshop or Krita, and then add text in that uh, program. And that way you have your text that way instead of actually writing it manually with your hand. If you would like to have a picture or let's say a sticker or a graffiti, whatever you want, or a tattoo, the way you would add that is you would take the PNG or a picture and drag it in, in Substance Painter here. And you're going to basically, here you want to type in texture and here you want to select current session and then import. On the right side here, you want to click the fill bucket tool where it says projection here. Instead of UV projection, you want to set it to wrap projection. Right click in an uh, empty spot here, scroll down and you're looking for base color. And then basically in that base color, you're going to drag in your logo or whatever you're looking for. And you're going to use these arrows to move it forward. As well as these uh, three, these three tools here is what you're focusing on. So if you want to make it uh, bigger or smaller, use this third tool and then select this middle box here and then just stretch it down. Use the first tool to move it up and down, backwards and forwards, and use this middle tool to rotate it. As you can see, it's a bit faded out. So what you're looking for is projection depth. You're gonna move that all the way to the right. And now as you can see, we have our logo. And of course, you can scale it down and move it down. If you choose to do this, then make sure that this panel right here is facing towards your body all the time. So if it's at your chest area, make sure that it's at exact angle as your chest. And always make sure that these arrows here are pointing towards your clothing. If you would want your clothing to have reflections on it or, or a height map, then you want to type in material here. And then you're focusing on this material right here. This one, as you can see, ma it makes it like a engraved kind of. And that way you're able to, uh, that way this is actually how, this is actually how it's going to look like in Unity when you apply it. 
And if you would want to have something uh, metallic, then you're looking for either gold or silver. And this is as well going to be exactly like this in Unity. Once you're happy with what you got, you can simply export the textures by going File, Export, select Desktop, I would suggest. Here you want to go with Alpha, PNG, 4K, and plus Transparent, and then Export. Now that you have your textures, this is what you basically get. You get your base color, you get a height map, and you get a normal map. So you want to import all of those into your Unity project. Let's create a material by right-clicking and material, drag it on your city. And then in Albedo is where you want to put your textures. In Metallic is where you want to put the Metallic map. In Normal map is where you want to put the Normal map. And in the Height map is where you want to put the Height map. If you're using Payomi, make sure that you switch in shading from flat lighting onto realistic lighting. That way you're actually going to see your Height map and your Normal map. Hope that this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if I missed something. If you're new to Substance Painter and would like to know how to texture your avatars, I made a whole video on that and you can go check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.